So what you see now is I've put in the data that I want to use as the base for creating my massive transformative purpose. And in this case, it's really something we're doing. Uh, it's the launch of this bot, the Exobot itself. I think maybe it should have its own MTP. And um, the things that I'm most excited about are these bullet points. And so I want to create five powerful, massive transformative purposes that I can use as candidates. And so we're going to go through the process that I would use to use the bot to get down to a final MTP. Here we go. So here come our results. All right. What we have here are five examples that the artificial intelligence has generated. And let's remember, it's doing that and it's doing it in this way because it knows about the book. It knows all the contents in there, but it has the power of OpenAI's GPT 3.5 turbo model, kind of supercharging it, if you want, the brains of the operation which is kind of funny since you think the brains are in the book. Now we're going to start to refine. Okay. So we're going to ask it. I didn't like any of those that didn't really do it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the bot. Now I'm going to say, give me more. Now I'm also adding a constraint here. I'm telling it, I want them to be shorter, just five or six words. Now it's giving me back five new ones. They're all five or six words long, give or take. Now what I found here is that it was, sort of going off in directions I didn't like. I mean, the things about like telemedicine, finance, tech, this isn't at all what I was going for. So now I'm going to ask it to focus in. Remember what I said, we're trying to make an MTP for Exobot. So I have told it now to leverage AI and chatbots, or, or if you will, kind of use that as additional context and then give me five more with five or six words. So here we're coming down to a point where we'll have, we've now generated 15 different MTPs. Now I want to explain what just happened here. You saw me hit the reset button. Even though those were looking pretty interesting, I found that I was kind of just down a path that wasn't doing it for me. It wasn't exactly where I wanted to go. What I've done is I've now gone here, I've gone up, I'm copying the data and you're about to see is I'm going to paste that data back in here at the bottom and we're going to give it another try. It's still not going where I want it. Please don't be discouraged by this. This is all about experimentation. It's one of the XO attributes. We can't give up after one or two tries. We all remember the story of Thomas Edison, don't we? That was a lot of light bulbs before he nailed the right one. So here I've decided maybe those little negative signs, those bullets are causing problems. So I'm going to take those out. And then I'm also going to change the way uh, that I put the text in. I'm going to lose the data tag. I'm going to give it some more context to start. I'm going to tell it what we're doing together again. We are going to create an MTP together, me and the bot. And then I'm going to tell it, I'm giving it some information to help us get started. And this is really interesting because even the little changes in the prompts for these types of generative models can make a very big difference. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to give it more of the context of of, of they, if you will. So wherever they may go, they are the masses, no matter how or young they are. I want to have this sort of target, right? The subject and the predicate can matter when we're trying to get to something. And so no matter how rich or poor they are, we can help them transform. And using this information, remember I said at the beginning, I'm going to give you information and we are going to make an MTP. These pronouns matter. Uh, and let's see what kind of a result we get next. So now we got, it looks like we've got five more MTPs. So let's take a second. We're going to read through these and then I'm going to ask it again. Do you remember at the beginning? I said, let's shorten these. Nobody needs an MTP that long, maybe a mission statement, but not a massive transformative purpose. In my experience, the best ones are about five or six words. So that's just kind of what I'm going for. You don't have to do that. That's just what I like to do. And by constraining the AI, it's going to be forced to, to do a hard summarization. So here are the shortened versions of the five MTP examples provided earlier. Democratize digital transformation for all. I really like that one. I'm not so sure I want to use the word democratized in my final iteration because it's politicized. Uh, bridge global digital divide. That's kind of broad. Uh, unleash human potential through technology. I really like that. That is very much uh, what I try to do on a day to day basis. Transform the world, empower the world. OK, so let's see where we go from here. So where I decided to go next uh, with this experiment was to say, okay, well, I like number one, 
Mm, I like number five. So let's combine number one and five in the context of three and give me three new MTPs. This is a process that uh, you would do in an MTP workshop anyway. Uh, and what we're really just doing is kind of using the AI as we might a room full of folks uh, batting around uh, an MTP creation process in MTP workshop. So now we've got three more. It's made them long again. It, this happens. It's, it's totally fine. The AI is doing its best, but it has done its best to combine elements of one, three, and five into three new MTPs. Next, I'm going to ask it to shorten those MTPs again. And we're going to end up with three new ones, three shortened new MTPs. We have Democratize Tech, Empower for Success, Bridge Divide, Empower in Digital Economy, and Unleash Potential with Tech Access. These are all very interesting. I've decided that I kind of like where we are with number two. So I'm going to call that, I'm going to label this data. I'm going to call it an MTP draft. I'm also going to give some negative prompt guidance. I'm going to tell the AI what not to do. I don't want it to say our MTP. I don't need to hear that anymore. And I'm also going to attempt to get the AI to stop being so verbose sometimes by only asking me what's the next step you want to do. That didn't work at all. And that's pretty funny. So this is a full walkthrough. I'm going to show my the successful things and the unsuccessful things. So I just decided to ignore that completely, do it again, copy the MTP draft back down there. And then, so we've copied the MTP draft back in. I've made a couple of minor modifications. I put it in quotes and then I've said, create a shorter version of the MTP draft. It is five or six words again, going for that. And here we go. Great. So we have three more again. And it's asking me which one resonates with me the most. I think that's a really interesting part of this particular bot that comes from its parentage. The, um, the reality is that I think, I think again, that there are parts of each of these that I really like. So why don't we take uh, number one and number two, which I think have things they, that I like in them, and let's combine those. Again, into five or six words and I'm pretty okay with where we are now. Do this exercise for yourself. It's really fun. So one of the things that I felt like was missing from these iterations of the MTP, even though they're really starting to get better, is this concept of really truly transforming the world by transforming the capabilities of a lot of people. And in this case, a billion people is what I'm going to choose. And I'm going to say that I want to be thinking again about the exponential organization's way, its methods, its processes, and I'm going to tell it to use those last answers for guidance and this message, the one I'm typing now, saying let's get specific for yet more context to create three more possible MTPs and don't say our MTP. I don't want to hear it. So here we go. Enable 1 billion digital transformations worldwide. Empower 1 billion for exponential digital growth. Transform 1 billion lives through exponential tech. Okay, well, I like, I really like where we're getting to here. And the next thing I want to do is, is uh, look at a couple of variations on number one. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I'm a little hung up on the word enable. So I'm going to actually ask it to replace the word enable with something stronger, which I spelled wrong. But it doesn't matter because the AI can spell better than me. <laughs> so here we go. Sure, I could provide some options without the word enable. So we've got empower, drive, facilitate, ignite. And do any of these, it's asking me, do any of these stand out to you? This last part is really interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, sort of capitulate to the AI and say, uh, at this point, number four. Now this part's pretty extraordinary. I love what happens next. Look at this. Great choice. Your it knows that we've been refining the MTP. Your refined MTP is ignite 1 billion digital transformations worldwide. And then it goes on because it's the book, Exponential Organizations Bot. It's the Exobot. And it says, let's discuss how to bring this to life. To ignite 1 billion digital transformations, we need to identify the areas and industries where such transformations are most needed. Okay, it's going to go ahead and help me out with some pre-sales research here, I guess. 
So we need to focus on empowering small and medium-sized enterprises in emerging economies to use digital technologies to increase their cooperative competitiveness. We could also prioritize upskilling programs for youth in underprivileged communities to prepare them for digital jobs of the future. We could ignite digital transformations in to collaborate with governments and policymakers to create an enabling environment for digital innovation and entrepreneurship. And these are just a few examples. We can further tailor our strategies to your specific goals and visions. Let me know if you have further questions or requests. My goodness, um, I think we're on to something here. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to use this particular digital technology, the Exobot. If you go back to where we started with the original prompt, what did I say? I think this tool, I think this technological tool and the fact that OpenEXO has put it on the internet for free as part of the EXO Pass free tier is going to give anybody, anywhere, anytime in the entire world, as long as they can get to this tool and type into that prompt, they're going to be able to begin their journey of transformation at scale with the help they need. And if they start to need a little bit more help, no problem. There's an entire network of certified coaches and consultants and trainers, literally 3,000 or so people out there that are certified, 22,000 people that have expressed interest in the network that are standing by in a marketplace on a platform called OpenEXO uh, to help you get going. But no pressure, use the bot, uh, begin your journey, and let us know how we can help.